All right, hello and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at magnetic stirs. Okay, so I have access to three different types of magnetic stirs. Um, these magnetic stirs are great for your electroforming tank. Okay. Um, what I want to do is kind of show you which ones are the better one at the lowest price using you know just different variations of these things called uh, how I'd call this a pill all right so in the fact that this thing has two magnets in it and right now this liquid is about three gallons of liquid okay? If I just step back, give you a visual reference, here's my hand, and uh, yeah, it goes back pretty far. Okay, so what I want to do is uh, show you this brand, which is this brand right here that I'm going to be showing you is the one I like the most. Okay, so I'm going to show you that one first, and then I'll show you the alternatives and then I'll talk about what it's doing. All right, so I got this pill. This is the pill it comes with. Hold on. It takes a little bit of a... There we go. I'm trying to do this with one hand. So the pill it comes with I'm going to turn this bad boy all the way up then I got this flashlight to show you what's going on in here See those rings are shaking back and forth. Very cool. Now what I want to do is switch over to a two-inch pill. The two-inch pill you have to buy separately. So I'll put links to all of this stuff in the video notes below. But this is the pill that it comes with. And I'll show you the brand here in a second. I'm going to switch over to the other pill. I can't do that with just one hand, so I'm going to have to put down the camera for that. Okay, this is the two inch pill, and you can see I have quite a whirlpool going on. It's, uh, if I put the camera over the top of it, it goes down there maybe a half of an inch of a whirlpool. Uh, let's shine the light on this thing. Show you what's going on with the rings. Oh, they are dancing. And you can see that whirlpool right there. So, this brand right here is pretty amazing in the, in the depth of it. So, I'll show you what brand this is. Find the box. Ah, here we go. Hold on. Yeah. Okay, so this right here, S A April, April, model 801. That is an amazing magnetic stir. <laughs> for what, for how much gallons, or how many gallons that's actually pulling around. Okay, so here's the alternatives. This is homebrew. This is an 80 millimeter fan with two magnets and a popsicle stick. Okay. So here's the same two inch pill. And here's some rings 
this is a different type of tank. So this is my uh, no texture tank. The other one has quite a bit of texture in it. Okay, and you can see it's dancing around pretty good. The liquid's actually flowing. I got a little bit of a typhoon, or I mean whirlpool. But nowhere near uh, the power of the other one. Okay? So the fan, in this case, you know, like, if you have some of these laying around and you have a popsicle stick and two magnets that you can find in your hardware store, you then only have to buy the pill, and this is the two-inch pill. And it's moving around pretty good. Okay, so let's go to the last one I would ever buy. <laughs> Okay, this is the, and I don't have the box anymore, it's called the Int Lab, Int Till Lab Magnetic Stir, and I'll put a link below on the one that maybe not to buy. Okay, it will not run a two inch pill. It only runs the pill it came with, and that's it. So if you try to put a different pill in there, like a different shape pill or a different or size pill, it will fail. And that's because of the spacing of the magnet. Uh, it must be, you know, they have very direct spacing. And any time that it's a little bit different from that, it won't work. So this one, barely any whirlpool going on. Rings are, or the little things are dancing. There is no texture. Um, it is very even. So let's go back here and I'll show you the advantage of this huge whirlpool thing. <laughs> it's so great. It's fun to watch. So you can see the lines. Those lines right there are called current lines. And this tank does produce a lot of current lines. And I, I, I kind of, I love it that way. Now with the Whirlpool, the lines go in every which way, direction, shape, and form. So before, and I'll show you kind of a piece that, before I had a magnetic stir, this is what current lines usually look like. Okay, so if you have these in your pieces, they are fun to play with. Sometimes people don't like them. But now if you swirl up your liquid, the current lines don't go in a straight line anymore. They go in every which way and it creates some amazing texture. So if I see rings, like in this tank for example, and they look boring to me, I'm like, oof, boring. I'll just put them in this tank for maybe 30 to 40 minutes. Uh, sometimes two hours if I, whatever I feel, I just pull them out and if they start to look interesting, I keep them in this tank. So this tank is a little higher amps, um, it's got a higher concentration of liquid to copper. Um, the chloride levels are pretty, pretty balanced, it's, but it's really made a lot of difference in my pieces. There's no doubt about it. So it's great for people that don't want texture, and if you want texture, it's great for those who uh, find it to be really harsh texture that's hard to um, sand down and move around quite often. It's fun to watch too. If you do go homebrew, I do have a lot of these, and the ones that work the best are the 24 volt or 25 volt fan with 
like a 16 volt power supply. Okay, so that ratio right there works really well. If you get a 24 volt with a 24 volt power supply, it spins off and out of control. So what you want to do is have a higher voltage fan, so 24 volt, and then about three quarters of the range of that voltage, like 15, 16 volts, is really good maximum stirring power when it comes down to the homebrew ones. And this will get you by for quite some time. And the amperage doesn't really matter too much, so I think this fan right here is running off uh, 15 volt, 4 amps. Now obviously I wouldn't want to put 24 volt, 4 amps because it would burn the fan. But again, it's a 24 volt, so 15 volt, 4 amps is powering it pretty well. You can get these fans on eBay for like, you can get a whole bunch of them for like 20 bucks or you can buy new ones for like $16. Would I go this route again? Um, it was fun to build, but I don't know if I would do it because in the long run I have to have this thing running a long time. And these things are being pushed to their maximum power by trying to go through the velocity or viscosity of the fluid with a magnet. So it slows these down and creates quite a bit of work on the actual fan itself. So the fans do get a little hot. Do not waste your money on this thing. Okay, these are um, AC current fans. I had one of these laying around and I just cut the fans off. These will overheat very hot, okay? Don't do this. The torque is too high. The viscosity of the liquid makes the fan heat up. And it was so hot that I could, I, I had to put a glove on just to get it out of there. So don't do the AC current. People with pacemakers, you probably shouldn't play with this. Have a good one.